Many people ask, what can I expect when my child gets umbilical cord blood and stem cells for autism? We know from uh, multiple studies that not every child benefits. It's unclear why, but we know anywhere from 50 to 70 percent, so remarkable gains. In the United States today, a phase one study is, is this stuff safe? A phase two study is, does it work? A phase three study is dosage and administration. In a phase four study, is, is this better than anything we have? So a phase one study has been completed, so we know it's safe. And currently, uh, researchers at Duke and throughout the world actually are working on the phase two studies. But currently, only single doses have been given. Uh, like I said before, not everybody benefits. In fact, there's one big study, which is more of a negative study from Duke, where in one of their phase two studies, the umbilical cord blood showed no benefit. But when they broke down and looked at the data, they had an abnormally high number of kids with intellectual disabilities. And those kids as a group did not benefit as much as those kids with IQs of 70 and above. I've had many parents say they see a change within a week. I've had kids that have been trying to get potty trained anywhere from four years to eight years, and within a week of getting the stem cells, they're, they're potty trained. Kids that didn't interact with their siblings within two or three weeks are interacting with their siblings. But especially kids that get measured because they're in some type of behavioral therapy, we start to see benefits anywhere from one week as would be the earliest to about two months is the latest. The question comes up, if my child shows you know, promising you know, results, how often or when's the next uh, injection of stem cells? And I think the only really data we have is from the Duke study of, of 2019, where they tested these kids every month and they showed these kids continued to make gains up to about six months, and then they plateaued. Uh, the interesting thing is they never came back down, so they got to a new level and, and held there. So depending on how you feel, if you want to treat it, uh, you know, from that data, you would probably give stem cells every six months because you would have a rise, then you would go again and then again. Um, however, some people say we should treat it like a drug because when you take an antibiotic, you don't wait for the level to drop down to zero. As soon as it starts to, to drop down, you, you give another dose. So I think anywhere from three to six months makes the most sense.